Hello everyone, um, sorry I kind of started without you in a sense. Uh, I've been working on this vessel since yesterday, and uh, for those of you who watched the video yesterday, I've added two more of uh, the turbo ramjet engines. I've added a, uh, uh, a cheetah for like uh, being just basically in, in space. I have added a uh, big, big, I almost said big, <laughs> never mind, big S-wing strake, right, with full of uh, liquid fuel. And then I've put a landing gear up front, two of the large landing gears up here, and actually two small itty bitty ones on the wings just in case it tilted down and was about to take out one of the wings. Um, I took off at about 10 degrees, and we are actually at 700 meters per second and climbing very quickly. Uh, so it is turning into a possible SSTO. This is its maiden flight. I have not tested it yet, except for just now. And I wanted to make sure that you guys got my reactions. A uh, genuine first time reaction cat don't even think about it this table is occupied thank you I had to take my vacuum cleaner and literally suck all the cat hair out of the uh, the grill of my uh, PC thank goodness my wife had bought me a new case and it's got a nice little filter in front because I know that hair would have killed my original Frankenstein machine um well it still is a Frankenstein machine it's just got a, you know prettier wrapper now but anyway we're at uh, 1200 meters per second at 14,000 meters high that's actually pretty damn good our TWR is uh, one. Oh, we're actually losing power, so our TWR is going down. Uh, it's getting a little warm in the in the, in the top there, in the nose. Uh, well, basically, it's just a waiting game now. Hopefully, the rapiers kick in here soon, and I'll even turn on the cheetah for good measure. Looks like their thrust is going down. I'm waiting for them to click over to close cycle, in which case I'll hit space bar. Nothing's on action groups right now. And it's just about to click over. I can feel it. Come on, click over. You're on auto, right? Uh, yes. I haven't I haven't told you not to be on. That. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna hit space bar. Get the cheetah in there to help out. All right. TWR is 0.94, which isn't great but we still are gaining speed. I'm gonna wait till about 36, 37,000 meters before I go prograde. Get a little bit more height, just a little bit more height. There we are at 35, going into 36, and 37. There we go, just tilt over just a little bit. Oh, easy, easy girl, easy, there you go. Okay, so we're turning uh, all of our power into speed. 47 seconds out from Apoapsis, so we're still pretty good on that. Fuel's looking pretty good, still got plenty. It's telling me I have current delta V of uh, over a thousand, which I'm damn near 2,000 meters per second already. So that's good. TWR of 1.14 now. With liquid fuel, we have a butt ton of liquid fuel actually in comparison to our oxidizer. I'm curious to see how much liquid fuel we have left. I might just go ahead and burn the engines until they completely go out and then see how much liquid fuel we actually have left over, which will tell me how much fuel to actually take off the crack. Like if we have like like, like freaking 1400 liters of or gallons or whatever the hell the units of liquid fuel now, obviously we don't need that much liquid fuel in the damn ship so we could cut that by half right which would make uh, it a little bit lighter and give us more delta v in the long run Ooh, yeah i'm gonna have to uh put on a proper re-entry system here. Let's have number one toggle the jet engines only. And number two will toggle the rapier engines. Number three will manually switch rapier engine mode just in case the automatic one does not work. Let's toggle this back please. Okay looks like when I did that it switched it to manual. Let's switch it back to automatic. So automatic switching toggle. Oh I toggle it. Okay. Weird. If you toggle it in the um, hangar bay, it switches it from automatic to manual very quickly. Like it knows what you want. In reality, it has no fucking clue. I don't want manual. I want automatic. Thank you. All right. Air breathing. Automatic. Air breathing. Automatic. Air breathing. And automatic. Now, automatic is nice. But if I see that it's not kicking in when I want to, I can always use the number three key and switch the mode manually so that's fine okay um let's go in here grab that tilt it again pop okay good so basically i've done this many times i've showed you in the video many many times what this probe core is all about when it comes to re-entry 
and it's even in my uh, uh, SSTO tips video that I put out a while ago. But basically, if I press prograde, it's going to follow that angle of, that that probe is, and that probe is angled down this way. So if I click prograde, right, suddenly it's going to want to point what it thinks is the nose towards the prograde. So the prograde will be up here somewhere, which the nose of this probe core is going to be pointing at. But if I hit number nine control from here, this tilted one is suddenly going to want to point up like this and point at the prograde because it's tilted, which tricks the entire craft to have its nose up, which is perfect for re-entry because it kind of slows you down without digging into the atmosphere, uses all the drag that's down here and keeps you aloft and, you know, you don't end up with everything blowing up at your, at your front there. Erase symmetry. Remove symmetry. I'll make one red and then I'll make one green. Uh, I'm actually... I'm actually very tempted to make this wing here bigger. And what I'll do is uh, a little thing that I've been doing for a while now with all my SSTOs. Usually for big ones like this, I'll use this wing. And then I'll use the tiny little wing right here. This I'll just bring this in like this, right? And then I will get this bad boy. Go across like this. Like that. Okay. Just bring this down just a pinch. All right, like that. So this, ooh, you know, that's not half bad. Okay, so it's like a grill, right? I could not tell you how I feel about that. Oh, shut up. I know how you feel about it. It's like, I don't care. Just pay me. Oh, no. Ah, damn it. She's on my desk. <sighs> now she's behind my screen. Are you enjoying yourself, cat? Mm, I don't have time for you. Let me go ahead and you better not chew on that wire. I will, oh, I will own you. I'll own you more than than you're already owned. We got a little gremlin. This is not a this is not a feline. This is a little gremlin. Okay. This is a lot better. It's it's kind of part intensive, but we'll fix it later. I just want to make it look cool. We'll kind of, we'll kind of come back to it later and and make it less part county. Hey, hey, hey. Really? You're knocking stuff off of my damn table? What drive? What million year old drive did that you're doing it again. You're Just knock my water bottle off my table. America! bad we are in orbit 75,000 apoapsis and perigee and 661 meters per second delta v left over in the tank although i will probably put a stronger light closer to the american flag so we can illuminate that properly but wow that actually looks really cool check that out i mean you can't really see the nose end right here but this right here, the slanted body with the two rows of lights and the different types of lights, I think is the, the coolest feature about that. Okay, that was weird. So anyway, <laughs> it would have landed nicely. I think I would have landed very nicely if it wasn't for the fact that some weird thing happened where this just, I don't know, glitched into the ground. I will note that on the way down, I was starting to lose control. That's obvious. I knew that that was probably going to be a thing anyway because of these slanted wings. Because this whole thing wants to flip upside down and have a more of a dihedral design. What the hell? Okay, well, you just had a party there and you just took off. 
overall a very beautiful design and I I'm really loving it I really like it a lot um, but of course we that re-entry is a real pain in the ass um, there there could be a thing where I might be able to just take this maybe and bring it down something like that even though that looks ugly as hell but it's a it's definitely an option that will I think really increase um, stability on the way down and I could probably make it so it does work and doesn't look so damn ugly right now but anyway that's all the time I have for today I'm already one hour and 30 minutes into this which means that I have 30 minutes to edit it uh, so it's gonna be a dirty editing again Love you all, take care, and I will see you in the next video. I might come back to this in the other video, like a Mark II, because it's definitely something I still want to work on until it's, like, perfect because I'm a perfectionist. But, yeah, um, let me know what any ideas you guys have in the thoughts below, and I will uh, see you later in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. It's just so pretty. So pretty. So beautiful.